In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a PayPal account using the PayPal website in 2024. You're going to be able to do this using a mobile phone or desktop PC or even an iPad, which is the reason why I'm showing you how to do this using the website. Let's show you how this is done. The first thing you will need to do on the device of your choosing is to open a web browser. An example of a web browser is Google Chrome. In this example, I'm using Google Chrome. This allows you to visit web addresses. I'm visiting paypal.com. You should do the same. Type paypal.com into your web browser. This will take you to this page. If you're unsure if you're on the official PayPal website, go up to where the web address reads and click on it. It should read HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash before the rest of the website address is displayed. If it does not, then make sure that this is displayed before you continue. This helps you prevent fraud. Now, from here, you want to open a PayPal account. You have two options in the top right hand corner, login and sign up. We're going to select sign up. This will then begin the sign up process, which we're going to continue on the next page. Here there are two ways to securely sign up for a PayPal account, a secure way to pay and get paid. The two options that we have are a personal account and a business account. You have some information here displayed on the both accounts. If you're unsure which type of PayPal account you need for your needs, then you can always ask me in the comments section because I have a lot of knowledge on these types of PayPal accounts. In this example, I'm going to open a personal account. I'm going to select personal account, which it already is. I don't need to press anything. As you can see, it's highlighted right here. Once you have your account type selected, select get started to continue. That will then take you to this page where it reads sign up for PayPal. In this example, I'm going to enter the email account that I would like associated with my PayPal account. This will be used during the login process. This is also the email where all of the information about my PayPal account will be sent. For example, if I have notifications on about any payments that are made or taken from my PayPal account, then it will send an email to my email when there is any actions of the sort in my PayPal. I'm going to enter this email now, but do keep that in mind that these notifications can be sent to this email account that you type in this address. This will also be the email account you will need to use when recovering your PayPal account. So make sure that you have access to it. Once happy with your email address, select next. There is now a security prompt. This is wanting to make sure that I'm a human being as bots do try to create dummy accounts for fraudulent practices. If you're a human, select I am human. In this case, I am human, so I'm going to select I am human. There may be some additional actions that I need to make after this point. Now at this point, it's asking me for a mobile phone number. The code is your local code, so where your mobile phone is normally located, or where it was purchased, or where it's originally from. In this example, I'm from the UK, and the code for the UK mobiles are plus 44. But you can select the code that you are familiar with, and PayPal is also helping you even more by giving you the country of origin with the phone code. So for example, if I'm from Slovenia and I'm opening an account using my Slovenian mobile phone, I can now select plus 386. And PayPal is also letting me know that this is the code for my location. Spain is plus 34, and you get the idea because there is more available that you can have a look at. In this example, I'm going to use United Kingdom as that is the location where my mobile phone is from. But if you have any questions about your mobile phone in this way, for example, which code should I use, then do let me know in the comments section and I can try to help you. At this point, you're going to type in your mobile phone number. If there is a zero in front of your mobile phone number, I do advise you put that first as this can help when going through this process. 
Now I'm going to have a text message sent to my mobile phone. This should happen to you as well. You've just heard the vibration from my phone. That is the text message where I have my code. I'm then going to enter the code in this section. There are two different ways you can have the code resent to you. You have two options. You can select resend where PayPal will resend this code to your mobile phone if there are any issues with the original text message. And there is also call me with a code. Normally, when this phone call happens, it's entirely free. Once you answer, you need to listen in order to find out what your code is because your code would normally be given with other noises to make sure that you're listening and getting the code ready. This is to stop bots from getting the code through the phone call. You as a human being will be able to hear those numbers. I'm going to enter these numbers now because I already have my code through a text message. Once you've entered your code, the next step is to create your password. This will be the password you use to enter your PayPal account. So when logging into your PayPal account, you will need this password. So make sure that you remember it or keep it safe and secure with somewhere that you can recover it. I'm going to create my password now, but there are two different things we need to keep in mind when creating our password that PayPal is letting us know here. You need to use eight minimum characters. A character is a letter, number or symbol and 20 characters maximum. You also need to use the following letters, numbers or symbols. Symbols are, for example, what is being given to you here, an exclamation mark, an at symbol. Right here, this is what it talks about when it's saying a symbol. It's something that isn't a letter or a number. A full stop can be a symbol. Letters are the letters of the alphabet. And numbers are, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to create my password now. I did not have to type a symbol into my password. Instead, I've only used letters and numbers. Although you are advised to use two of the following letters, numbers or symbols. If you're using letters and numbers, you will not have to use a symbol. So there's no need to worry about symbols. But you can use numbers and symbols, which is two of the following, just to give you more information of how you can create your password. If I click on that I symbol right over here, it will actually show me my password. So if I have any issues of not remembering it when typing it in this stage, I can actually have a second look before I click next. In this example, I'm going to click next. Now it's time for some personal details. PayPal is going to ask you for your nationality. In most cases, this is where you are currently living or something that should match your ID as you will have an identification for the location in where you are living. This is the nationality you need to enter here. If on your ID, it reads that you are a UK citizen, then you want to select United Kingdom. It needs to match your ID. Of course, if you change your name at any point, you need to make sure it matches your ID. So if you're waiting for your new ID to turn up, it might be a better idea to use the one that you currently have. In the next step, PayPal is going to ask for your address. Enter your postcode and then enter your address. Once you've entered an address, you're then on this page where you have three options. It used to be two, but now it's three. PayPal says, what do you want to try first? Join over 400 million people using PayPal globally. You can shop to check out on millions of websites by adding a card or bank account. You can send money. It's fee free when you send domestically to PayPal account if there's no currency conversion. Meaning, if you're sending money to another PayPal account that is using the same currency you are, if you're using dollars and that account is using dollars, you pay nothing on the fee. There is also no conversion fee because you're not having to change the currency from dollars to pounds, for example. You can do that or the new option, you can select 
not now. I'm going to select not now. At this point, PayPal is asking me if I want to add a bank card. Again, you no longer have to follow through with this option. It's something that you can do later on if you feel like you want to add a card. You can see it reads link card, link a bank account. You can see it reads link card, link a bank account, or not now. I don't want to do this now, so I'm going to select not now. Now we have successfully created our PayPal account, and there are quite a few things that you can do before you decide to add a bank card or a bank account. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching how to create a PayPal account using the PayPal website in 2024.